So why in the world do people still use those massive, large format cameras that look like they're from the 1900s? Here's why. So if I was to put the same lens on a bunch of different cameras with different image formats, here's what it would look like. As you can see, large formats, so 4x5 and 8x10, are massive image formats. What's the benefit of having such a massive image format compared to something like a 61 megapixel full frame digital sensor? If I draw the actual size of these image formats, you can see that a 35 millimeter or a full frame sensor here is a lot smaller than a large format piece of sheet film. It's dramatically small. So here's the two scale size of a 35 millimeter full frame compared to this 1570 IMAX, which is just not quite as tall as the six by seven piece of film. This is what they use to film Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer, which is the biggest format they use in cinema. So here's how that compares to four by five film, which is just the entryway into large format. And that's still about a fourth the size of an eight by 10 sheet of film. As you can see, that takes up most of the paper. I couldn't actually draw all the edges because it does take up basically this whole sheet of paper. Now there's some clear benefits to having digital sensor. They're a lot easier to use. They do a lot better in low light. They can have a sort of higher resolution or, or almost pixel density. It's digital, but it's hard to compete with the amount of data that you can capture in an image that's in such a bigger negative than the actual sensor of a 35 millimeter camera. So Sony has a sensor in the A7R5 that's 61 megapixels for a full frame camera. If I compare that to a four x five sheet of film, you can scan that to 100, 200 megapixels using something like a drum scanner. Now, depending on the actual film stock and the lens, the realized resolution will probably be a little bit less than that. Think somewhere in the 150 megapixel range but that's still dramatically more than the 61 megapixels that you get out of a camera like this. Jump up to something like eight by 10 film and you're quadrupling the size of the image negative, which is crazy. Instead of 100 to 200, think 400 to 600 megapixels of resolution that you can scan. Again, depending on the actual film you're using and the lens, you're probably not gonna be able to get that full resolution, but you're still gonna get something drastically better than even the best digital sensors like the Phase One IQ4 150 megapixel sensor can capture, which is crazy to me. That is literally the best image sensor you can buy right now. It's somewhere in the range of like $50,000, $60,000. Well, it's totally crazy to me, but film can still get you higher resolution than digital cameras these days. Not to mention the character, the lens movements that you can do with a camera like this. There's some other reasons people are still using film, but this resolution piece is definitely part of it. Just at looking at the different image formats, it's kind of interesting to see all the different sensor sizes. And if you look at something like an iPhone, how small the sensor is, but how capable it is. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to this video and we'll see you in the next one.